Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our love, okay? We're going to do um, my Libra, okay? So, I'm going to start with Venus, okay? So, say, say you're just Venus, Libra, okay? And you're just looking at your Venus. Um, that's why I'm doing that first. But the whole read might apply just because we're marrying everything together, okay? So there's that. So, let's see what's going on with my Libras. My little librarian. Mm -hmm. All right. What's this trying to tell me? True love and flirt, okay? I'm saying have fun with whatever this is. Funny, um, I don't know if that's going to end up coming out again, but I, I will tell you, um, this says you deserve love. Taurus got the uh, true love, too. It might not even need to come out because I already stressed it. All right, we got we got new love. All right, we got release your ex. We got engagement. Okay. And a couple fell out. And we got playfulness and chemistry. At the bottom of the deck, there was definitely some deception. There's no question there. All right, you deserve love and religious factors, okay? Um, new love, release your ex. That talks about energy to me. All right, engagement, playfulness, and chemistry. What this is telling me right here is you feel like you don't deserve love, and you do, okay? You most definitely do. Um, I think you, you're you battling how you and somebody are so different. You could be very spiritual this person may not be you can be muslim this person could be catholic whatever it is you choose for religion okay this is just talking about either different cultures different factors the way you were raised all right the tool you are very different um in this new love okay this is it looks like there's somebody brand new coming to you okay and it's saying release your ex and what this is talking about is, is your energy from your past like you deserve this okay so whatever Whatever happened in your past, don't let it hold back your future. Don't let it hold back what this moment is, okay? Um, and then you have engagement. To me, this engagement's not, you know, I'm not someone can put a ring on your finger, but that's not how I read this card. You know how I read my cards my way. But this is saying this will escalate quick, okay? Um, and, and, and capture the romance. But it, it says recapture. So for some, this is going to be an ex-lover. And it's going to feel brand new and escalate quick. For others, it is going to be a brand new lover. And don't don't worry about the past. Don't let it interfere with the current moment. Okay. And there's gonna be more than enough chemistry. It's gonna be like a magnetic connect, okay? Um, which is beautiful. With this deception card being at the bottom of the deck, this was this person coming back around, like I said, or it's brand new and you're just worried about deception because of the past. But I'm telling you, you can't worry about stuff like that. Like you block your future. Okay. I know it seems like I'm nervous. I'm scared. Like yada, yada. And I get it guys. But, um, it's so important to, to let that go. It's time to release that energy. You can't hold on to that. What you put out is what you get back sometimes. And it's easier said than done guys. I know I put myself in those situations. I know it's hard to be positive about things sometimes, okay? I will tell you this particular spread right here. I'll probably pull another one in a few weeks, just an update on Venus. But this is going to go until end of October, early, early November. Some of you are already in this, okay? Um, but this is what it is that you're going to be dealing with. I will tell you that Taurus and Libra rule Venus and... The Taurus spread looked a little easier because I don't know if they've already gone through all this. It looks like my Libras are going to get hit harder, okay? So I really need you to be more positive, more uplifting, okay? Stay optimistic. Don't be Debbie. Don't be Debbie. Okay? Okay, so let's do the new moon energy you know this is going to go for a, a few more weeks too could even be another four weeks i just saw the two of cups all right and that's what i'm talking about with engagement even if it's a new pit uh, new person regardless the scenario that you're in 
is going to escalate quick. Okay. This might be both of you guys' energy. It might just be your energy. It really just depends to me. This is obviously my, my Libra, how I like to read it. But you know, it could always go vice versa. So with this new moon energy for my Libras, please. All right, we got judgment. To me, this is self-judgment right off the bat. You make this you make this decision on how you want to be. You make this decision whether or not you're going to release this energy. You re you ultimately make the decision whether or not you're going to move forward or go backwards, okay? So this is no time for, for dwelling on the past, okay? Or this is you wanting reconciliation with somebody or vice versa. We have the Queen of Cups. I will tell you, this same exact card came out in the same place for Taurus. Um, this is making a, an emotional decision. Okay. Um, you know, we all know the queen of cups is loving, nurturing, emotional. Right now it looks like she's trying to decide and she's going within using her intuition when it comes to this. She's, it looks like she's trying. Okay. But not dwelling, but a, a little bit of dwelling. Okay. Um, with the four sword wands being reversed, this is, this is, this is somebody you're looking at, like somebody who you have this stability with, like you, you want this connection back with this person or you want it with a brand new person. Okay. Um, tell me about the four of wands reversed. Why was it reversed? I normally don't read these reversed. Okay. But it's the seven of swords. Okay. So this is somebody who either lied to you. And I told you we had that wedding card. That's always deception to me. Okay. Um, so you're a little apprehensive, okay? This is either you lying to yourself about how you truly feel about this person or vice versa, or this is a relationship, any type of situation that you were in and it came with some deception, okay? It doesn't have to be cheating, guys. Just deception is deception. Whether it's a white lie, a lie, it's a, a, a tale, it doesn't matter how you want to look at it. Regardless, it's, it's still deception, okay? So that's, that's why we're a little apprehensive and this is why, to me, it's really clicking to this release your energy you can't move even if this is the same person you can't move forward with the same person with this energy you will repeat the cycle okay so it's really important that you get your, you step yourself out of this energy all right so we have the page of swords so this is this is a messenger okay and it's and it was reversed so To me, it's coming out of this energy. This was somebody you were dealing with. You were either watching somebody or vice versa, okay? Um, and to me, it's it's this same person where this it's the same person to me. And this, you know, whatever this deception is, okay? And if this is you coming in as the male energy, looking over male or female, this is the person you're thinking of. Maybe they already made a judgment call to step out. However, this resonates with you because I just kind of felt it that way too. All right. Um, and the song that's on is, you know, it's haters. So you guys went through some stuff. I don't know. Maybe you were dealing with an instigator. I don't know. You got the the six of wands here. This is this is feeling victorious with a it, uh, maybe a small victory, but regardless, with the five of pens here, this is you you felt left out in the cold or or vice versa. And oh, guys, you have a rough read. Okay, um, you're either feeling pretty lonely right now, but it's only a matter of time. But you're gonna step right out of that. Okay, um, it's a small victory, but it's it's still a victory. Okay, this is not one upping somebody. This is a small victory because you're getting yourself out of this energy. Okay, um, tell me about this five of pence, please. Five of pence. So, with the eight of pence, so this is with the six of cups at the bottom of the deck, it's reversed. When that's reversed to me, this is your past always coming back around. You might even have children with this person, or you're just going to feel like a child again because there's a lot of love. Okay. It looks like it's going to be renewed with the King of Wands over here being reversed. It doesn't look like anyone's taking action right this second. It looks like you're still dealing with this dilemma. But if this talks about not being left out in the cold or whatnot, this is just coming out of this loneliness, okay? With the Six of Wands here, it's it's a small victory. But be proud of even the smallest victory, guys, because it's hard to get yourself out of this type of energy. I know it is, okay? So, you know, step forward and, and, and 
really put the effort in. This is really putting the effort in. You, 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 this definitely is going to require work and effort, whatever scenario this is, okay? It's still a beautiful scenario. This is, you know, if this is not the past and this is brand new, you know, you're fearing. You're fearing the, this. And this, this Seven of Swords to me could talk about self-sabotage, okay? Like, you don't want to self-sabotage this scenario either, okay? Because whoever this person is can bring this type of stability. And, and it can be a small victory with baby steps. But it can feel like a huge victory to you because it takes a lot to get out of this. I'm telling you, whatever this this new love is, whether it's past or, or brand new, is going to escalate fast. It will feel victorious, okay? Um, but being a small victory, to me, it's kind of saying you're going to feel it regardless. Will you be a little apprehensive? Yeah. But don't don't step back into that energy because we got a little back and forth, back and forth. We got a little bit of a, a, a game of limbo here, okay? So we got justice and that four of pence, okay? So it, this talks about the entire two, but to me this is, you know, there you are, but, you know, balancing out these scales. You know, stay stay determined, stay stay focused. All right, there was the wheel. Something can go in your direction, and not to mention, I noticed that too. That's a wheel. It's not the wheel of fortune, but it, it's a wheel. So move forward. It is going to require effort on your half to push through. Okay. So raw love next two weeks with this, please. You know, this is the Ace of Pens. This is a beautiful new start. This is you giving somebody the time. To, to reconnect or connect with somebody new, okay? Um, like I said, whatever this is, it's going to escalate quick. And to me, I'm going to tell you right now, this is divine. And I can say that because if you look up here, you have spirit, okay? They got you right now, okay? But you, it, it doesn't mean you can give up and just let spirit you know, step in. You got to put effort into this, okay? So here we go with the five of chalices. So this person or you, whether I'm saying new or, or old, I'm, I'm telling you, the sorrow, there's sorrow or you're going to dwell, all right? And to me, this is saying, you know, you got somebody right here. Why are we looking in the past? Why are we clinging onto the past? When you have this beautiful new start. So what are you going to do? Sleep with this person and, and catch all these feelings. But then you're going to step backwards again because you're scared. Um, see, I, I can see that. I can see the limbo here. I can I can see the, the tug of war. All right. So be very careful because what you put out is what you get back. Okay. Um, so to me, you know, you, you're going to have this brand new opportunity. But for some, you, you're still... You're still thinking of the past, okay? Um, so we got the nine of chalices. This person, whether it's new or old, can fulfill you, all right? With the nine of pence. So what I'm telling you right now, you're going to get caught up in this too. You're going to get swept away, all right? What's this? Holy shit, the eight of wands. Look at this nine of chalices. I mean, look at... It's a beautiful cat, okay? Um... The two of you are going to get caught up in this together. It's not just one. It's, it's the two of you. And with the page of pens here, you know, a lot of people like to say it's an apology. But to me, in this deck, this is this is getting swept away. And it's saying, be careful you don't get too swept away. Okay? Especially with the eight of wands here. Because whatever this message is you're going to get or whatever journey you're about to take, look how beautiful it is. This is getting caught up quick. Okay? This is some passionate energy. So whether this is a message from somebody else or this is, you know, because the Eight of Wands to me is, is stepping forward um, and starting a new journey. But in this deck, this also talks about nurturing whatever situation you're in right now and putting the effort in, which would make sense because here's another eight why I said, you know, it, it, you have to put the effort in too, okay? You, you can't be... You can't be Debbie, okay? Um, but be careful how you get caught up in this, too. All right? What else? All right, the world. So this is endings for brand new beginnings, okay? And 
let me just clarify the world this one okay because i don't i don't this is to me this is ending something to to have this renewed feeling again okay like that's the end of all the icky all right yeah see the ace of wands all right it's a it's, it's a passionate new stat but see the people in the fireplace what it's saying is let that let that go that's that's the end of that that's the end of whether it's a third party that's the end of you because it's reversed that's the end of you feeling like this is the past all right let it burn let the past go all right, let it go so you can have this brand new start, this brand new passionate start with somebody. It's going to be passionate. I told you that chemistry card you have here and how it's going to escalate real quick. All right. And, and just you have to put the effort into play, too. All right. It, it takes it takes two to 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 give that synergy when it comes to passion. OK, if this is somebody from the past, it, it's going to be hard to give that again. But you're going to have to if you don't want to put that effort into this don't bother okay um it's tough i know it's tough um but it can be done it's this is venus does come back around to right wrongs okay or this is brand new and it's still going to be a tough scenario because you're dealing with the past feelings the past energy that you need to release you need to push through you need to step forward you need to put pep in your step you need to self-motivate okay it's a beautiful read but it's a tough read because some are clinging to the past. You have to step out of that energy to move forward, okay? Um, and at the bottom of the deck, you got the Knight of Chalices, all right? So this is somebody coming in with that offer. And with the High Priestess here, this is, this is you know, this is destiny. This is already written in the Book of Destiny. And I already saw that in this pad right here, all right? This is a divine partnership. It's time for it to come back together whether it's old and new, okay? Just remember, you have to put the effort in here. You have to, regardless of the scenario, old and new, okay? So, hi, Kai. Pull your lesson card, and then we'll pull you an oracle. Pull your lesson card and pull your oracle. See what we get. Okay, it's a beautiful read. It's just going to be tough. Okay, but I can tell you it's going to be worth it. I, I can see I can see how this will escalate quick, okay? I just saw patience and worry, okay? So just try not to backtrack. Just, you know, the best advice I can give you is really stay positive and what you put out is what you get back, okay? It's, it's the reality of it. All right, we have adversity. I accept challenges are the best way to learn. And then we have failure. So somebody at the bottom of the deck, somebody feels like a failure in this situation. Somebody feels like they've missed opportunities. They've made mistakes. So to me, this this person feels like they failed you or you failed them, okay? But the universe is saying, listen, it was a challenge, okay? And sometimes that's the best way to learn, okay? It's going to take some work, guys, because of past pain. Okay, but it's, it's okay. See, past pain. Deceit with denial, all right? But the denial can hold somebody back, too. Don't, don't, let, don't let you clinging on to the past stop your future. Because you repeat the cycle, and I don't want that for you guys, okay? It's really important that you really put effort into moving forward, okay? My Libras. Here we go. Focus, which makes complete sense. And at the bottom of the deck, you got Warrior, all right? So... And that would be 888, okay? It just fell on all the other eights. So please go Google 888, okay? So focus. If I gave you an arrow and a bow, would you know how to use it? Would you shoot to hit the mark? This is a reminder that you must let go of all distractions and have the courage to give it your all. Your arrow will be drawn in whatever it is you're focused on right now, so keep your eye on the target. However, remember you can't control every outcome. Just as the wind can influence the path of your arrow, there are many factors determine the course of your plans. To achieve anything, you must focus, take aim, and let go. So it's saying focus on the new, let go of the damn past. It, this correlates with my whole damn read, guys. I, I can't stress enough that this can be beautiful if you allow it to. Okay, this is, this is really going to take adversity on your half to push through this scenario. It's going to take a lot of faith, and it's going to take a lot of effort, regardless if you're dealing with the past or somebody new, okay? 
So I wish you the best. I love you guys. You're going to be fine. Hang in there, okay? You got this. I'm telling you. You got this. All right? Um, but it's your call. It's your judgment call, okay? And to me, this is really... You want to cling on to the past or you want to start new, okay? Because you got a couple new opportunities that the universe is about to, to give you, okay? So it's it's really time to, to let go of whatever it is you're clinging on to, all right? Set it on fire. Let it let it go. Let that, let that MF, the mother effing feelings on fire, all right? What's that song by Adele? and set on fire somebody knows comment go listen to that song okay i don't know what it means but i used to pretty sure it's a beautiful song but i, I think it's letting go of memories okay so i love you guys all right bye be a warrior be a warrior be a warrior at the bottom of that we got complicated yeah no no kidding no kidding, it's complicated. <laughs> and then we got trapped, all right? But in order, and then we got movement. So in order to move forward and then fulfillment, which would make sense, all right? With this trap too. Yeah, you're not really trapped, ladies and gents. This is you trapped in your own, your own circumstances, okay? Like, truly, all right? You need to stop clinging on to the past in order to move forward is what it's saying, okay? I can't stress it enough. And you want to you wanna push through? You most definitely can, I promise you, okay? Um, you have brand new opportunities coming your way. Somebody who seems to be very charming too, um, but not in a manipulative way. I just kind of feel like you're considering it, all right? Don't self-sabotage this, this new scenario, no matter who it's with, okay? I really feel like you're going to come out of this, you know, feeling lonely or feeling whatever this feeling is, the, uh, you know, I see you definitely pushing through this, but it's going to require effort, okay? Um, there's definitely some differences, and you definitely feel like you deserve love, and I'm telling you right now, like, you can have that love, okay? And it's going to feel brand new, and it's going to escalate pretty damn quick, all right? But you got to put the effort into play, too, to, to recapture that kind of stuff. All right, don't don't just put it on the other person to to add fuel to the fire in a in a passionate way. Okay, you you really have to let go of that energy in order to move forward. Um, it's okay to to feel that magnetic feeling again. Like it's a beautiful feeling. Is it intimidating and a little scary? Yeah, but I'm telling you, you guys got this. I love you guys.